The word tonight is that the Prime Minister is prepared to accept that we stay in the customs union. That's a problem for the Tories. I'll come to that in a minute. But that Northern Ireland should stay in the single market, whereas the rest of Great Britain, Great Britain wouldn't. Would the DUP accept that? Well, no. Uh, we've been very clear on all of this. Um, the most important single market to us, the most important customs union to us, is the United Kingdom. Uh, we trade, the vast, vast majority of our trade is within the United Kingdom. A lot more and than North A South lot more. In fact, uh, our trade with the rest of the United Kingdom is greater than our trade with the Republic of Ireland, with the European Union, and the rest of the world all put together. So that's how important this single market, the single market of the Union is to us. And this proposal would sever that, and that is of deep concern to everybody within the DUP. And my understanding is your concern is that over time, if Great Britain is out of the single market and it goes its own regulatory way, but Northern Ireland remains in the single market and will carry on cover, following the rules that Brussels set, the, the IREC gets wider and wider. That's what you don't like, correct? Well, that's one of the issues with it, but there are many, many problems that we foresee with this. Um, of course, if the rest of the United Kingdom has the ability to diverge in terms of regulation, that inevitably will happen over the next number of years. But the critical one, regardless of what we have heard and, and how it's sugar-coated in terms of the discussions here, uh, it, from the European Union side, they've been very frank, uh, that if oh. this is the case, Northern Ireland cannot participate in any new trade deals that the rest of the United Kingdom would actually uh, try to strike. Uh, that was the, the big opportunity in terms of Brexit. I sit on the International so, Trade Select Committee, so, so it's you wouldn't quite be existential part of that I Northern mean, Ireland would be completely... Am I right in thinking that what happened, whereas the, the, the British government has been kind of, to use your phrase, sugarcoating uh, uh, what might happen, Mr Barnier was quite blunt when he met the DUP leader this week. Well, he has been blunt. He made it absolutely clear that under this arrangement, Northern Ireland would not be be able to participate in free trade deals. Um, to us, this is not the best of both worlds. In fact, we think it's the worst of both worlds. So it's a deal breaker for you? It's, it, it is a deal breaker because of the fact that Northern Ireland trade relies so heavily on the UK single market. Okay. This is a deep fracture, not just for the union. It's got significant constitutional implications on all of that. But from an economic and business point of view, this simply doesn't make any sense. And there's huge right. risks and huge dangers for Northern Ireland. You